This is a Smith Corona Mark X PWP personal word processor. Um, the Mark X I haven't seen online at all. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the date is on it. Um, hold up one second and I will turn it over because it actually has another model number. I think it's 5D. Right up here. I'm pretty sure that it says model 5D on that little spot. Oh, it's on the bottom. There we go. Model 5D. It has the a handle. On the back, it has a spot for the power cord. The power cord. That plugs into the wall. Three prong. This is the personal word processor. Open here. I've already turned it on. I can shut it off in the back. And then you can watch it turn on. And it turns on. 1989. There we go. It's a date. Okay, this is in the mode of typing. That's type mode. And if you switch it down to the word processing mode, it gives you a menu. So you can type out what you want first. So we're going to create, view, or edit a text. So we'll push one. Pops that up. Um, the page isn't in here yet, but you can start typing. Uh, we'll just type in the hello. Um, world. We'll just do hello world. And we'll go with like an exclamation mark here. A couple of them. Anyhow, um, you can manually insert the paper. Or uh, if you're in the typing mode, you can... I'm going to manually, manually insert it. But if you're in the typing mode, you can put it in and then just press the enter button a couple times and it'll go in. So... I've manually inserted the paper into the word processor or the typewriter. There. And um, when you're done, you can type whatever you want. We're just going to type some random letters and stuff. And every time you make a misspelled word, um, it will beep. Or if you spell a word that's not in its programming, it will beep. So I'm going to switch it back to typing mode. And we will um let me see. Oh, actually I switched it back to word processing mode after typing mode. So to the create view or edit text, um set margins, tabs or formats and then to print text. Um once you're back to that, you can print text. Press 3. Um, here it'll be spacebar, um, to select, return to start printing the text, or you can do the code menu thing. So we are going to, because I'm just showing the basics of this, push the return button. And it instantly types out with the hello world, um, and then the random letters that I put in. So... Um, I'm going to create text again. Uh, I'm going to add to what we had, which was one. And I'm going to go to the end of our text. And I'm going to return. So it's down to the next line. And I'm going to go true. And then we'll just go, um hello again and then the next line will go happy and the next line will do fun all right so and then I'll just do some extra stuff at the end of that one 
we'll, I want to show you how this works. We'll go uh, switch to word processor and back to the, I'm sure there's a different way to do that, but that'll take you back to your memory, which your memory is 32,624 left after what I've used. So probably like 37 or 32,700 characters. And um, anyhow, that you can save and print. You can also put a floppy disk in right here. But um, we're going to go back to print, which is three. And we're going to print the text that I just did. Um, begin printing on page number one. Um, and when you begin printing, it prints forward and backwards. So it's fairly fast. It says printing complete. And you can bring it up. I didn't space it once I... Uh, you should push enter after uh, you put your first line. But anyhow, it prints that out really... Well... I guess I missed the H on the hello. But the first one. And that's how the basic word processor works on this with the saved data of uh, 30 or 3,200 and some characters that you can put in. So this is the Smith Corona Mark X PWP. Um, it's pretty rare because I've only seen the Smith Corona personal word processor, not a Mark X. And uh, this is going to be up for sale on eBay. So, happy bidding.